Cancers, welcome to my channel. We're going to be looking at the harsh truths that you need to hear in this current moment. And really quick disclaimer, the purpose of this reading is to give you insight on your situation and to be brutally honest, okay? So when I say harsh truth, I don't mean bashing. <laughs> I mean more so just giving it to you straight up so that you can help yourself in your situation. So take what applies, leave the rest. Let's jump into the reading itself. Cancers, what is the harsh truth they need to hear in this current moment? So first card we have is cultivating courage. It reads, in any moment, I always know exactly what to do. So first truth that you may be needing to hear, there's a need for you to not be scared. And when I say scared, like being in this energy of worrying constantly about what tomorrow is going to look like, what next week is going to look like next month. All this is doing is keeping you in a position of being scared to do anything out of the norm. And at that point where you're just kind of staying stagnant and not making progress, that's when you're really in trouble. So stop letting fear of the future kind of stop you in your tracks in this current moment, especially when it comes to taking those risks that require you to have courage. Especially if you're trying to start a new business, you're trying to start a weight loss journey, you're trying to move to a different state, whatever this is, fear could be your worst enemy in terms of you stepping into a space of courage and you being able to succeed. All right, let's keep going. We also have discovering happiness. I allow myself to be content exactly as I am. So this is a reminder that you need to stop letting the fact that your life isn't 100% perfect stop you from being happy in this current moment. Are you letting the fact that your love life is in shambles stop you from being happy? Are you letting the fact that your financial situation isn't in order stop you from being happy? If so, you're placing the importance of outside things over your own inner happiness. What is something that should be natural to you? And I always say this, happiness is a choice. Yes, there could be things that are going on around you that are not 100% perfect, but you can tune in to the frequency of happiness by focusing on what does make you feel uplifted and happy, like your children, um, your, I don't know, your, your children I think is a good example. You guys get what I mean, but let's keep pulling more cards. We also have expressing free will. My choices determine how brightly I shine. And I'm going to pull the last one too while we're here. Uh, amplifying abundance. Abundance is my birthright and I receive it now. Okay, so this understanding, yeah, you do have free will. There's a lot of things in life that you will have a choice on. And in you having free will, it's important to know that this can, you know, be a good thing and a bad thing. Because in us making our own choices, we also don't let, um, we don't have the full understanding of the bigger picture at times. So in you having free will, make sure you are not thinking small or limiting yourself by making decisions that, you know, will just affect you for the right now, or you're looking for like temporary results from especially when it comes to like business stuff that you want to accomplish. I'm picking that up strongly. All right, so let's keep pulling cards. What is the harsh truth my cancers need to hear in this current moment? Spirit is saying that you could be making more money, but you could be playing it way, way, way too safe. All right, so we have Mark each day's end with gratitude. And this card says, focus on the present as it's here that change occurs. So this literally goes right back into what I was saying earlier. You need to make sure that you're purposely feeding into the vibration of happiness and knowing that at the end of the day, in regards of how messed up it was, if this happened, if that happened, if you focus on what you can be grateful for, and even if it's the little simple things, I promise you it will not make your situation feel as bad. 
And also being in tune with the present is essential because literally this is where change occurs. If you are too focused on next month and whether or not you're going to be broke or if this person is going to talk to you or if this is going to happen, what are you going to do in the in-between time until there? If you're not doing anything in this current moment, then your situation is just going to look the same in the future. And it's going to be a constant cycle of, oh, well, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next when nothing's happening because you're not moving? All right, Cancers. All right, we got the Four of Swords that flew. Cancers. The Two of Cups. Hard shoot they need to hear. The cards want to talk. We have the judgment, the ace of pentacles in reverse, and the three of cups in reverse, and the three of pentacles in reverse. Okay. So you need to be careful of sleeping at, how do I say this? You could be needing to be careful of sleeping on your ideas or your dreams with the four of swords right next to the two of cups. You could be waiting for like a business partner to get started on a creative endeavor or a business partner to get started on a business idea. But spirits like realize if you're not on board fully with whatever you're trying to execute in a business or creative idea, how can someone else join that same team and also be a benefit to you? And if you currently are in business with someone else, you could be needing to reevaluate who your business partner is and whether or not they're pushing you towards growth within that business or just being a hindrance. When it comes to a sleep schedule as well, the truth is the reason why you feel lethargic or you don't have the energy to get things done could be due to the fact that you're not sleeping enough or you have way too much on your mind going to bed and you never fully get rest. You just maybe in a dormant state, but your mind is still running. Hmm. Another thing I'm getting, the harsh truth is you need to know the difference between quality over quantity. Just if you're just because you could be dating multiple people or even just dating someone as of right now, just because this is somebody to just have around does not mean that they are of quality. Every person that we date, you're going to have to distinguish them between them being quality or just someone to be around. And with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Cups in reverse, if you're dating someone from the past, you need to make sure this person is coming back around with a quality offer or at least a level of seriousness about commitment if that's what you're looking for. Hmm. Some of you guys have coworkers who really hate on you in the workplace. And the truth is the only way you're going to get away from this hateful environment is if you level up and quit. And all this could be literally pushing you to elevate for a reason. But let's pull one last card for you, Cancers. What's the final message? So we have do the work. It's not enough to dream or pray. You also got to take the positive action steps that you're being divinely guided to take. Consistently work on your priorities will make them or consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden. So, yeah, this is knowing that you're going to have to put the, the effort in. All that you desire is just requiring you to show up. So this is what I see. I hope you're able to take something from this reading. If you did, definitely thumbs up the video, subscribe so you never miss a beat, and I will see you later.